Welcome back to the lone quadrium by the Cree. Look at this thing. It's just sitting in this one tile lake and they're also building a frigate. So there's going to be a frigate in the city and a quadrium sitting in a lake. Last episode, we discovered Global Warbreak. Well, not really discovered it, but we started pioneering melting these glaciers around the world. If we look now, we're up to 22 whatever units that means. <laughs> and then the Incan are actually helping us out a little bit. And it's all thanks to this nice coal power plant right here. We have some big plans this episode. The first thing we're going to do is move Magnus over to this city here. And what we're going to do next is we're going to basically build an industrial zone here. Why we need an industrial zone here? Because we need a factory and a coal power plant for these cities. And why do we want that? Because here, we're going to buy James Watt. Instantly builds a factory and a workshop in this district, so we want to build that with a fresh industrial zone. Factories additionally provide plus two production. We're only two turns away, but I'm worried because if you remember from a few episodes ago, Romans actually bought a great admiral, so we're just going to spend the 310 faith to buy that great engineer. And if we look next, Germany's about to get Alfred Nobel. But if you look here... Look who's not been chosen, Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein, if I remember, is in the modern era. So I'm really hoping Germany in two turns grabs Nobel and then we get Einstein. But the next thing we can do is we can actually buy a coal power plant when it's this city and actually get basically refining this turn. But I decided against that. And why is that? Because we just completed Venetian arsenal here and we need ships. And if we get refining... All of our unique frigates will turn into battleships, so we won't be able to build them anymore. So that's why we need to build this. And now in two turns, we'll get two of them. We have some of the best spies. Look, this one already has steel great works. Okay, we can be a rocket scientist. We can do spear campaign or siphon funds. Two levels more advanced. Let's take all the gold from everybody. We only have 284.5 per turn. We need to double that. Next thing I forgot to do is we need to start selling our diplomatic favor. We have 173 right now. We're going to get 100 more once we defend this military emergency. So we need to sell this as soon as possible because once you get enough global warming, you basically lose all your diplomatic favor per turn. So we're going to sell 100 of it for 49 gold per turn. Additionally, let's start selling some of our luxuries. We have so many, we can get so much more gold per turn now. Are we at war? Hey, wait, the Germans are actually bringing units to Moreau? Goodness. Good thing we have our fleets here to actually just take them out. Look at this. Actually, that's not that much damage. Uh-oh. Levy and Mass will give us definitely 30 gold per turn. But you know what we're going to do in a few turns? We're going to be upgrading them all anyways to battleships. So let's go with force modernization because I think the upgrade cost is just one coal to upgrade the battleships. Additionally, we can I think we can get rid of skyscrapers now since we are almost done with River Valley and nobody else in the world is currently building that. So we're going to go right for a triangular trade to make up for that gold loss. Okay, looks like Germany actually brought an army down here. Well, they have some cores, but we have what refining. Oh, we got battleships now. Bad news, Germany. Resource. Oh, we got oil. I totally forgot. Oh no, it's um, it's right below Petra, is it? Yeah, <laughs> oh man. Oh, we should have done Petra at a different spot. All right, they brought their army. Germany is coming to play over here. We just modern era entered a new era as another golden era. And we just finished our walls in Muro. What a great turn. Now we got our walls and basically two battleships around here. I want to take this unit out before we actually... Oh, we can take it out here. We can take it out with the district and then we'll upgrade our other ship to a battleship. Look at this. Everybody's in a dark era except for the Dutch. They're in a golden era. Let's just go with two arms because it's a lot of fun. Now that we have Magnus established in this city, 14 turns for an industrial zone. Boom, down to three. That's, that's awesome. Down to three turns now. Two sources of oil up here. Okay, and it's only 1,600. There's so many, 10 population here. 
I can't buy a settler here. Oh, come on. Come on, game. We're buying this settler. 1,280 gold? Sure, whatever. Our spy just got established in Rome. That is a, it is about time this happened. We have to take care. Okay, we got that fuel cannon. Army just down, and let's just start bombarding Rome. We can actually bring, we should bring all of our units over here. Largest. Oh, Amsterdam is huge. Is that this gets a 20 population? Is that why that went off? Whoa, 20 population. I don't think I've ever had a city that high before. That is just crazy. Oh, we just finished the industrial zone. You know what happened? We also got the workshop and factory down the same turn. Now it's time for the coal power plant. They're ironclad. We got that. And now our next technology is we're going to get steel. It looks like I was looking over here and then, yeah, the Cree already have steel. They already have 400 fortification health. Look at all these cities that are losing loyalty because they're in a dark era. I don't feel sorry for them at all. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to upgrade our caravel. Where is it? Upgrade this thing. Oh, we don't have enough gold. How are we so poor? <laughs> I guess I'll have to wait one turn to get that going. Getting battleships and two more turns and look what we just got. We got Rur Valley. This thing is going to be awesome. Hardly anyone worked. There it is. It looks beautiful. Let's look at our city. We just got flight. Okay, let's see. 81.6 production per turn. We could probably manage that, make that even better if we actually swap some of these mines over here. But I kind of like having a nice mix right now. Oh, now we have three battleships going on Rome. Oh, can we take it over this turn? Major victory. We got it. We got Rome. Yes. They'll give us 205 gold per turn, a couple relics, and we'll get all of our cities. Finish two more battleships. Oh, man. Phoenician arsenal is this so good. Should we build more battleships? I mean, should we? Yeah, let's definitely do that. This battleship after battleship after battleship. It's time to start moving our four battleship armadas all the way to the east because we couldn't get global warming fast enough. If you look here, 60 turns until the polarized starts to melt. Come on, it's forever. So we're just going to go east. I already moved a spy over to German's capital. Oh, looks like, did they build a permanent Pamino canal? It's under construction right now. This is an interesting canal going on there. We have found our city. We're not afraid of some coastal flooding. We'll just found it right on the coast. And now we have a nice oil city. There's an artifact right below the mausoleum. How is this possible? Okay. We'll go with we'll go with our own this time. We already have a barbarian one. Here we are, turn two sixteen, tribal village. Come on, relic. Earned XP. Uh, that's also acceptable. Got another great bird. Yes, it's an Albert Einstein. Oh, we got yes, we got so lucky with this one because the last one we just skipped on James Watt or whatever the last person was. But now we cannot recruit this one fast enough. Let's go ahead and use Albert Einstein right away. We're at 234 science return. Up to 273.9. Round two of our siege against Berlin is already underway. We have four armadas over here. It is, the city is just done for. We can actually, can we take it? We can take it this turn. Two turn siege? That's pretty nice. We are definitely going to have a loyalty issue. Right now it's 20.7, the minus five for the World Congress. Otherwise it'd be 15, which is actually kind of reasonable, but this 20 is, is pretty, pretty rough. We're gonna have to take over some other cities over here. We're gonna try some things, colonial offices to get three loyalty per turn. We're gonna use Republican Legacy to get additional amenity. Praetorium for another two loyalty per turn. And Illuminati for another two loyalty per turn. Let's see what is the damage now at Berlin. Minus 2.7. That is much, much better. Whoa, something. Enemy sabotage. 
production in Amsterdam? That is not cool. And they escaped? No, that's where our coal power plant is. Catastrophic eruption. No, this is in a this is in Eindhoven, one of our best cities. Thankfully, I upgraded Liang to the reinforced materials promotion, and none of our districts got damaged from there. This more promotions. Is this an eight production pile? Eight production, seven production? Holy smokes. We can do another polder lake over by Rome and another polder up here. Yes, let's definitely do that. We're gonna we're just gonna buy a builder. We have so much gold, anyways. Time to to kind of sneak around. Let's see. Let's just go one tile at a time. Okay. What do we want to do here? If you attack this fuel cannon, we'll be in Bob Armit range of the city. So let's just move two tiles up, and then this thing can still hit us. But the fuel cannon is pretty weak, anyways. Okay, Nubia is coming. Nubia is coming to play with all their single fuel cannons over against Moreau with a combat strength of 98 and a fortification health of 400. They are just, why would they even do that? Look at ours, Berlin is 100 now, but now our tank army is winning. Oh, it's winning striking range this turn. To where we're not going to basically attack Germany's capital this turn, but we're going to get everything winning the bombardment range over here. Let's start to let's actually coastal raid can we coastal raid yes 50 gold not okay 311 that's better the 50 gold is due to the one promotion loot and since we're going for a war campaign we're obviously going to go for fascism dodge mahal we did it this is a good one it's going to keep us hopefully a golden era for the rest of the game here's another one we can finish our railroad connection between two cities for a bunch of error score now. Let's see, four error score. Oh, we can go over here and pillage. Yeah, let's start getting sites. There's uranium. Okay, we have one uranium source. Oh, right by Rome. Only five results in the whole map. This one's down in the Arctic, down in the Arctic. Okay, Rotterdam, it's 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 one of, it's one of three tiles. Excellent. So we have two uranium sources. Another one's so far up north. And it doesn't even matter. Here it is. This is the turn where we actually take Germany's former capital. Oh, man. We can do so, so much damage with all of our units. Let's actually go in coastal raid with this thing. Can we do it right here? We can still go after the commercial hub. Excellent. Obviously, let's keep this city and then use our bomb. No, we're not going to use our bombardment. We're going to attack it with our own unit for the extra XP. And the loyalty is already going up in this city this is just great we can what do we want to go for next i don't even oxford oxford's already been built let's look at the technologies maybe we should go for flight and radio oh we should go for research labs what am i thinking we are definitely not friends in this game and look at this one more turn we got what scientific theory okay what do we really get we got fascism five more combat strength for all of our units let's just do this right away and it's going to be huge error score. Just huge. Four error score for that. Let's, where are we at? Where are we one away from a golden era already? Let's see here. 194. We need one more point. And we have 18 turns to do this. Five-year plan, 21 science. Rationalism is 30 science. Okay, trade confederation is 12. Goodness. Triangular trade is 48 gold. Basically, everything we choose is actually amazing. Third alternative, that's a good one. Levy and Mass. Okay, we, we got some good ones to choose from. Here are the policies that we're going to go for. Propaganda for a little bit less war wariness. This because I'm trying it out. Third alternative for the extra culture and gold per turn boost. And Levy and Mass. Total war. Our plundering trade routes, we, have a, we already have a plus 50% bonus, a plus 60% bonus, and now we have another 50% bonus. For economic policies, we're going to go with five-year plan, rationalism. We're going to go for the spy one, and then we're also going to go for triangular trade. Let's just see here. 243 science per turn, 268 gold per turn, 375 up to 315 science per turn, and we're still getting loyalty per turn in Berlin. It only takes two times to actually take out this whole city. Just crazy. Let's coastal raid, though. You know for fun and then we'll use our tank army to take it over the only reason i took over this city is so, so would have a clean shot at cologne without getting bombardment damage 
Field Canada against Swordsman's up here, but now we got another tribal village right by the uranium and oil. Come on, space secrets, I guess. 40 gold, that's it. First max promotion for our battleship. Look at this, one error score for us. Now Nubia's former capital is actually losing loyalty per turn. Thankfully, World Congress will meet in seven turns and hopefully we will still not have the active effects with a 20% Population growth, but minus five loyalty. That is actually hurting a lot more than I thought it would. Nubia will give us a ton of gold per turn and all this stuff. Oh, I guess their city for peace. We'll just accept it. We don't need anything. We don't need anything to do with you anymore. We're continuing our this bombardment on Cologne, and this thing's actually going down pretty quickly with these two amazing battleships when it's when it's striking range. Okay, Cologne. Cologne's down to zero combat. We got it. We got Cologne pretty easily. Now we use the Barbar Restrict to take down their neighboring units. What'd we get with this city? We got Stonehenge and this Wonder. Plus 20% faith, grants four warrior monks. Okay, maybe I should know one over this city. We should probably more, we should focus more. I'm just having a little bit of fun. We'll just move on to Incas next. Looks like 20 diplomatic favor is a max that Germany will give us. Actually, any AI usually only gets only 20 diplomatic favor during a peace deal, but they'll additionally give us 25 gold per turn, which is all their gold, to, all their gold per turn. 223 gold, some tea, some dyes, some diamonds, you know, etc. I built the first ever canal in this game because I kind of wanted to see what the historic moment actually kind of looks like. Oh, we, oh no, we couldn't. Get the great works. We had a 90% chance for that. I guess we couldn't seal two in a row. But here's our pointless canal. It's literally this pointless. Yeah, we're just, we're just, you know, walking by. Looks like five more turns until some polar ice is melted. I'm really hoping that the polar ice caps up north are melted. Because then we can go for Inca City. And if all this stuff melts, we can go over to the Kree Empire and take over that city. I do have a backup plan though. These aircraft carriers, I'm just gonna go north of them. We're gonna get an advanced flight in three turns. We can buy so many bombers and then this bombers just take them out pretty easily. We can actually just barely want it against the Incan Empire, but we now got another diplomatic victory point. Let's see what we're at actually. We're at seven out of 10, but domination is just coming so, so quickly. We're actually leading the science victory now, excellent. 366.8 science. When did we get so high? 50 techs. We're ch we're tied with the Incan Empire. Okay, we'll pay two gold for turn to get open borders with Germany. I'm trying to bring these two tank armies north to the Kree army because we can actually take over their capital from the sea. We actually have to, oh we have to go through this little bombardment range. The encampment to the south here belongs to this city, so we can take over this city and hopefully just go right through here to the capital. Trying to figure out what great persons the other AIs are going for. It looks like everybody's going for a great general. We even have Germany of 20, 22, 48, 26, and 16 great persons. So what we'll do is we'll do double points for a great, where, no, 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 great general. Theocracy, theocracy, oligarchy, theocracy, and oligarchy. Okay, we have the most diplomatic favor by far so let's let's just do this we're gonna go right towards fascism well actually we only need to put one in there and we can save a little bit of diplomatic favor for the second one fascism hopefully gets a government policy slot we have so many basically we have so much diplomatic favor that oh look at we spent it all yes great general perfect fascism perfect <laughs> well not perfect but you know two diplomatic victory points one two was it three, four? Did we get five diplomatic victory points that time? We're already at 12. Goodness, we can win the game like pretty easily with diplomatic victory now too, but domination. We finally get all of our Amanas attacking this one city just at once. We can get it. Oh, we can get it this turn, really? Can we get it this turn? Yeah, we got it this turn. Piece of cake. Let's see. Oh, the world climate stuff melted. Next ice melt in 10 turns. Did we lose some stuff around the world a little bit? I think is we can actually get through here now. We can. So close. We're so close to getting through here. 10 more turns. Hopefully even more ice will melt. Until then, let's bring our units over here and start attacking the capital of the Incan Empire. 
We have enough gold. Let's purchase our first bomber in the world. Look at this. Six more era score. Like, we really need it. We got seven more turns until the next era. This game's... Maybe it'll be over in seven turns. That would be awesome. Let's just denounce the Kree Empire. And then now, let's just go Golden Age War. We only have one bomber. What is striking range this turn? Oh, I should have definitely moved a spy. Spy there. Can we move? We can't move there and actually see the city. Uh-oh. This could be kind of a mistake. Actually, we can pillage a ton of these tiles around here. Let's just see how much the bomber actually does. Come on, a lot. Okay. Okay, that's that's a decent amount. About 70. Okay. We're going to have two next turn. And the turn after that, we'll have three. Oh, look at this. No way. Can our tank all the way down here use some of these tunnels and actually take over the city? <laughs> it did. We got their capital that turn. That was like a 40 tile move. Amazing. No oh, we got Broadway. No <laughs> oh, man. Building so many wonders. Look at this. This is the theater square district that has the pyramid. So these things already have a plus six bonus. So now this one to the left should have what? A plus eight. And there's Ruhr Valley. Actually, no. It's probably like a plus ten or something. Let's see what it is. It's a plus ten. <laughs> Look at that. Even our industrial zones are a plus nine. This is this great. Another great person, or two great people, a great general, Eisenhower, 5% production towards military units, that is awesome. The next one we got a great writer, oh man, should we buy anything else? We can buy so many, we have basically 8,000 faith. You know what, let's make it the turn of like a lot of point, a lot of great people. So let's do the great musician, and then we'll do the great merchant, and then we'll do the great engineer. And then we'll do the great, oh, uh, we don't, free battleship. We don't really need that. It's not worth it. We'll do the great scientist. And I think that's it. Okay, so basically every great person is what we got this turn. We're seeing if we can conquer their capital. I think we can. I think we can win the game this turn. Move this. Oh, yeah. We got it. Piece of cake. Well, I hope you enjoyed this series. It's actually a lot of fun playing as a normal, non-hindered against the AI. We kind of just completely dominated them. Let's look at player science, because that's obviously the best thing. Oh, we took a big dip there. It must have been when we changed some policies, but then we came skyrocketing back. All right. Thanks for watching this series.